So now that I've given you a quick introduction to guides, I want to go a step further. So here in InDesign, I'm going to go to File and Open, go to my Chapter 2 Concepts and Folder 4, Managing Guides. And I'm going to say uh, File Number 1, Guides Across Spreads. So here I've got a basic layout. I know I want to put a photo there, a big photo indicated by the X. This has an entry and an exit point, so I know I want to put a little article or a paragraph or two here. And I've got a couple of photos here. But notice how this one's lower, and then it goes up to the top edge here, and then it goes up to the top edge here. I want all of them to line up here. The problem is, when I am showing my rulers, I can click and drag like I'm pulling a ruler down, and notice right above the page, it looks like that blue guide is going to go all the way across. But if I pull down to the left page, it only goes on the left page. And that can be a real problem because if I come over here to the right and I pull this down and I'm not exactly perfect, I'll zoom in real close, these two guides aren't going to line up. And that can cause a real issue with alignment. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out here. And let's zoom in once. Uh, let's go see how the pages are kind of getting cut off. I'm going to say view. And let's say fit spread in window. There we go. Now I can see at least both pages. And these guides aren't working. So I can click on a guide and just pull it back up to the ruler to get it off the page, pull it back up. But my goal is to get one guide that goes all the way across. And all I have to do for that is hold my command key. And now the guide goes all the way across. I will command these guides to go all the way across. Command key. When I click outside, now I've got my light blue guide going all the way across. And let's say I do that, and light blue is kind of hard to see. So if I want my guides to show up a little better, I can go to InDesign Preferences, Guides, and I'm going to change my guides here. Let's see, Color, Margins, see Guides. Display performance. Nope. Let's see if I can change the color of my guides. Interface, advanced. Let's look for any color bars here. Guides and pasteboard. Oops, color theme. No, nope, I don't see that. Okay. Maybe I have to stick with that after all. Um, in the other applications, you could definitely change the color of your guides. I don't really see it popping up here. Um, Guides, well, there it is, guides and pasteboard. Smart guides, I don't need those. Guide options, guides in the back. Ah, forget it, let's keep, <laughs> okay. I thought I could change that. Um, let me see, control click, grids and guides. No, I don't see it. Okay, if there's a way to change it, I don't see it in here, so screw it. We'll keep it as light blue. Just adjust your eyes. Okay, the point is, when I held command, I got a guide that went all the way across. Now I want all my objects, so if I click and drag, guides are like magnets. They will snap to it right there. Click and drag and snap to it. Select these two and snap to that guide. And now I've got everything lining up. Now mathematically, I want to double check that. Did I really get everything to line up perfectly? So here's a quick test. If I select an object, there is an X field. Okay, X is the distance from the uh, side of the page over. Y is the distance from the top of the page down. Okay, but right next to that, there is a grid, a reference point. It's measuring from the top of the page to the center of the box. I want to measure from the top of the page to the top edge of this box. So I'm going to click the upper middle point. 
Now I know the Y field is from the top of the page down. So the top edge of this box right there, the top edge of this reference point is 2.14 inches from the top of the page. Now I select this, it is also 2.14. Select this, it is also 2.14. So my guide worked, okay? I'm good. If I don't need the guide, click and drag it off, and I'm good to go from there. I'm gonna show you another step here. I'm gonna close this up. No need to save it, and let's go to File and Open again, because in that same demo folder, folder number four in chapter two, Managing Guides, I have this one, Quick Guide Deleting. Okay, on this page, I've indicated a whole bunch of guides a top margin right across here, a center of the page margin, a left edge margin for this box, a right edge, a bottom edge, more guides, just tons of guides everywhere. And I drew these guides to indicate the width of the text frame, just too many guides. I'm done using guides, it's ridiculous. I can hit just the letter W and look at it without the guides. But again, when I hit W, they're all still gonna be there. Let's say I am done with these guides. I don't want them anywhere anymore. I'm done. There's just too much stuff all over my page. So I go to my ruler, control click, and say delete all guides on the spread. Just make sure this is really what you want to do because once you do it, they're gone. But I'm done using them. I've lined everything up. I don't need this big mess on my page. They have served their purpose. So control key, click on a ruler, delete all guides on the spread, and there we go. Now I can breathe a little easier, not having to look at a thousand things on my screen. So there's another quick uh, trick with dealing with guides here in Photoshop.